Hello, testing, one, two. I wish I'd stop changing Facebook because all this shit's retarded. everybody welcome to tonight's stream tonight again joining me is ryan hello, hello um we're checking out this program that allows him to see my screen in real time so he can take a better look at what we're doing as i kind of explain what's going on with the game and we look at different things that it has to offer so as this loads up we're getting ready to dive into marvel's avengers Yeah, I'm interested to see what this looks like. Yeah. Alright, so load it up here. This is like your main menu, your main loading screen to get into the game. One of the cool things that I like that it does is like right here it has the two characters that are currently unlocked. Um, and it shows them up there as you have them dressed, like I switched out her outfit. And Hulk's kind of just in his default one, because I'm hoping to unlock some of the... The cooler skins he has but we'll take a look at that once we actually get into the game um one thing i do want to note out is we're going to pop over here to the marketplace and for the price of some of these they're totally not worth it hulk and a yeah. hat yeah yeah 
So, like, the only one that's, like, kind of different, like, you'll see once we get into the game, and I can show you, like, the ones that you... Because you can unlock a ton of them in-game, but most of them are, like, color variants and stuff like that. Yeah. Um, nothing has been, like, super different. Like, this one, for her, has been, like, a little bit different. Um, Who's that for? I can't even tell. That is... That is Kubla? Kubla Khan? Maybe I'm saying her name right. Kahula? Okay. Kahula Khan. She is the the main character here. Um, yeah. But what we'll do is pop over, because then you can pop up over here, and now you can go into, like, the character you want and then see kind of what they're offering as well. Um, so they've got some, like, takedowns, some emotes, the little nameplate things, and then just a couple outfits but none of them have been like super crazy like oh yeah that's gonna be worth like the 15 bucks it is yeah um but let's not worry about this stuff let's get loaded in here um so if you complete the campaign once that's completed you can just go into like the adventures initiative part and then that way you can get set up right into the mul uh, multiplayer aspect of it but we're working on the campaign tonight so we're going to load in this way, but we still will get to access some of the multiplayer features as we're picking our mission and setting up for that. The multiplayer is completely separate from the campaign? Actually, it's, it's not. Like, you start your pro prologue out as single player, and then... Um, Actually, the very first mission they give you, you can add one person to it. And I know it's up to four-player uh, co-op, so it'll be interesting to see the scales of these missions that it has have you do. It's a load. And then normally, too, there would be some music and stuff playing, but I have that. Now that the neural uplink has been successfully installed, I can access my full database. Director Hill is reviewing the shield protocols that you also recovered. So right now, too, we're kind of coming into some story because I had finished a mission and then saved right away this morning. You have no idea how much this means to me. To shield. Thank you, Bruce. You too, Kamala. With this... I can start rebuilding S.H.I.E.L.D. in earnest. If you ever need anything, give me a call. I'm sure we'll be seeing a lot more of each other. Looking forward to it, Director. I feel like I should salute or something. No. No need for that. Good luck, both of you. Jarvis, you think you can get us Tony? This will take some time, but I should be able to find Mr. Stark. In the meantime, I've uncovered something that might be of interest to Miss Khan in the harm room. The what now? The holographic augmented reality machine. Something the Avengers use for training. Whoa, that sounds awesome. I should warn you, the system may be a little irregular. Is this safe? Only 0.0001% chance of injury. Uh, okay. <laughs> I trust you, I guess. Proceed through the crew quarters. The harm room is on the lower floor of the hangar bay. Thanks, Jarvis. All right, so now here we go. We've got some control of our character right now. Right here, this little thing is the war table. Um, eventually what'll happen is these screens will pop up and then that's when it'll allow you to set up your missions. And it looks like because it wants to show us this new harm room that they're closed down right now. So I just can't go in and access this right here. So what we'll do is we'll take a pop into the menu. So it defaults you up to the last spot you were in there. I was checking out some gear. Um, you have bands, armulets. Uh, cryo resistance vest and insignia for her along with these minor and major artifacts um, each character kind of has like a little bit different thing like um, all of Hulk's upgrades were like nanotech based and like a better spine and stuff like that um, 
another feature they gave with that is down here is you can equip the best gear you have which in the beginning it's kind of good but like once you go on you can kind of like tweak uh what you're actually getting from your gear a little bit more because they'll eventually start having perk points and um I mean not perk points but um it'll have actual perks into it where you can start like overlapping and doing that kind of stuff Artifacts, like modifiers, kind of things. Yeah. So this is uh, let's let's go over this one. So this one's giving me like experience boost, and it also gives me like the little one resilience and a plus four to your power. So it's it's very similar to the uh, the Destiny setup and approach to a gear system. And then um. Everybody also uses different things to upgrade their gear. So at the bottom, no, you're you're joking about like the eight different upgrade things, but that's all listed down there of like what we've acquired so far. And it's important to note that these armor pieces, these gears, don't actually show up on your character. Yeah, they don't show up at all. They're strictly okay. just to boost your stats. Yeah. Um, so, you know, it just kind of shows That's up so here. So they can sell you skins. Yep, yep, everything is skins. And we'll actually, we'll pop over there now, because like I said, it's real It's real basic. It works like the Destiny system, just in this one. It doesn't change. And you don't have weapons, because they're like your abilities and stuff. Right. But we can pop over here into the cosmetics section, and then it's kind of set up similar to each person. Your unlocks will be up top. Um... So there's like the default outfit right there. The obsidian was the one from the pre-order version that I had, so that's right there. And then down here it'll show all the different unlock ones and you can um, come in and preview them. But like I said, like a lot of them are just like, these are just different colors of the same thing. And then down here as well. So... So far, the whole uh, the outfit and skins thing hasn't been super, super impressive. Like, there hasn't really been many that have, like, stood out. Like, well, that's really, really cool. Um, look to, so. Didn't mean to click that. And then, it's same thing, you can set your emotes here. Um, the legendary takedowns you have here, kind of depending on, like, what special move you're using, is how it'll, um take down the enemy. It'll give you a little prompt that's, uh, I think it's circle and triangle on the PlayStation. And then you'll do, like, a little nice, like, finishing move or slam them down in some fancy way. Look. Um. Collection is just, you know, your discoverables. So these are, I've got the one Fitting around. Yeah. So it's just like a bunch of comics that you'll find laying around in different places. And actually like the five you get here is from the beginning of the game. And it actually has like a bunch of little mini games to kind of like learn how aiming works. And learn how to like a hold button works and stuff like that. Um, so that's kind of how they introduced that. Which was, it was pretty cool. Um, but yeah, so that's it. Basic collection stuff. Um... Social tab, you have who's in your current team right now. So my missions are two, so I think I can just invite one other person. And then eventually you'll be able to invite up to four. And then um, you can also have matchmaking turned on. So when you go into a map, it'll pull somebody that's looking for that same mission and put them in there with you if you want it. If not, you can turn it off and then you've got like an AI person with you have multiples of the same character no you cannot from okay. my understanding is that once you have that it's just it'll be one of each character so if you're playing with your friends you'll kind of have to like decide who wants to be who um but i like that because at by the end you want to kind of like be able to build out every character and that'll give you the free to be like okay you know, we're going to run with this team, and then for this mission we'll swap it up, and I'm going to try this person now. So it'll kind of make you want to try, like, different characters out, rather than just sticking to one and having, you know, four Iron Man or four Hawks go in and bust stuff up. As much fun as that would be, um, 
it just kind of makes sense for how the the game is and hopefully once we get through this the the harm room thing we can get into a mission and really uh see that see some action or at least make our way to some action yeah um so we'll pop over here real quick to the skill tree it's uh everything's pretty basic it's not um super crazy to start so you have your light attack heavy attack your range and in strength in strength ability so that'll be like my special thing like she can polymorph so that'll allow her to like get bigger do a little bit more damage with hulk he um he goes into his rage so his fist will like uh glow green a little bit and he's doing extra with that um and then from there you can further you can further advance them with uh some more um especially um i'm still uh, like kind of learning how like the building of a character is gonna go i haven't really sat down and just like read through everything and i don't know if you'll be able to fully max out every tree at the end i do know the max level cap is 50. and then we have this uh the mastery tree for after level 15. light right light light levels yeah <laughs> That's when the real game begins. Yep, yep. When you're when you're grinding out your light levels, and, and you know it's real once you're up in the thousands. Yep. All right. So that's it. Menu is pretty simple, pretty basic. Um, this is one of the chests that you can open up that'll have like gear and stuff in it. Sometimes it'll be like, um, in the beginning, some of the quest items were in those chests, but it was so that you could, like, it would give you a couple gear pieces, but then it would give you, like, what you were looking for. And we're gonna go find... Like a chest where stuff you miss picking up in the mission ends up? No, I think if you miss picking up something, you just miss it. Um... I'm not gonna 100% quote myself on that because I had saved like right at the end of the mission screen or well I hope it had saved and it did because it was like do you want to go into the next thing and I was like no I want to I want to save and exit um, but it saves as you go so let's see if we can get to this harm room so right now the place we're into is a fallen chimera uh, helicarrier and that's kind of our base of operations for now. Okay, arm room's back this way. If you press up on the D-pad, it'll give you kind of like your, your tactical awareness. So it'll show, it'll point out different things or show where you need to head. Um, in this area, it kind of has... Um, Assuming something didn't go well for the Avengers if this thing's destroyed. Yeah, and it's actually like really far away from where it where it was in the beginning. Um, set up. Our rooms in here. So let's get let's get rolling right in here. But like, the areas are pretty detailed. Like, there isn't really anything that feels like super repetitive that I've seen. There's a bunch of stuff to interact with. So when you see that little shining area right there. It'll be like, that'll be like collectibles or some stuff to pick up. The second one was installed at Mr. Odinson's request. It dispensed mead. There used to be a sign. Exclusive footage of the Green Goliath fighting what appear to be some kind of armed soldiers. So we got the TV going on right now. What has been the story so far? So, so far the story is that, um, there was this like big event for um, like celebrating the Avengers and they were doing like a comic contest and she, the she were main character here, was actually able to um, write and enter a, con um, a comic. So you're there and then um, all of a sudden that the bridge gets attacked. Um, and then the base is also under attack and they're setting off the reactor to a base which causes a um, catastrophic event, which they call A Day, but it's actually the the event that creates the Inhumans. Um, it starts turning like normal people with superpowers, and um, it's kind of based around everything that's happened with that. 
but it also gets um the blame gets put on the Avengers because it was their helicarrier that went off and caused this event and there was like um you know there's people that are just going out being bad with it and then they've got the Stark Tower got shut down the Avengers got disassembled um Captain America supposedly had died in that as well and um a company called AIM has taken over now and they're using like a bunch of robots to kind of hunt down in humans and police in humans and uh, bring them all under their custody. So right now we are um, we're here trying to find the Avengers and now it's kind of we had found the Hulk first and now it was trying to find Tony Stark because we had found a um, a flash drive with evidence that the doctor who is running AIM actually set up the um, the Avengers and everything. So it's just kind of taking off from there now, but now we've got to start trying to find who we can and uh, network to figure out how we're going to approach this because she still is just like a teenager and all, so... But yeah, so let's um, well, let's hop up in here then. It's still hard to believe all this is real. I mean, I just flew on a Quinjet to a secret shield base. Uh, we saw Nick Fury, and, and now I'm talking to Jarvis and no, not keeping my right. cool at oh, all. Oh, that's it. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> no need to apologize, Miss Khan. I think the the voice acting has been pretty good with this as well. And another thing I like is like how they like portray her. Like, yeah, she's in inhuman now and has these powers, and she's working with them. But at the same time, like that Super Avengers fan is still there, and you will kind of get that as like you're exploring and seeing things and meeting different people. Snow's all melted by now. Aim can't track this thing, can they? The Quinjet is equipped with highly advanced cloaking technology. Our location is safe for the time being. Good. Where do we gotta go now? Okay, over and down that way. still going this way and a lot of the areas so far have um been pretty big with decent places to explore um the first map like it, it kind of gives you a linear area but it gives you multiple ways to traverse or go about like you can have a little bit of a stealthy approach or there's like a direct way you can go and um so that's been pretty cool Powering up. All right, we'll go there. Let's see. Whoa! Uh, oh, what? Welcome to the holographic augmented reality machine. I'm Iron Man. Indeed. I've patched in Mr. Stark's old combat simulator. I hope you don't mind. Are you kidding? I am Iron Man! <laughs> Do your worst, virtual bad guys! Alright, so this is interesting. I thought it was going to be like her. So that's the light attacks right there. That's his heavy attack. Alright, so it's just kind of like re-going every over everything that it's um, kind of showed us already. Um, 
the top bar. Well, you had this tutorialized to you? Yeah, yeah, kind of like as you've been going, it was like, all right, yeah, this is how you dodge, this is how you move. So I know that's kind of weird that they've re re put it in here, but maybe they'll use this as kind of like the tutorial section to where you can like go back and practice things if you want. Hopefully you can not just play as Iron Man, right? Like maybe you can yeah, maybe test have, out the characters. Yeah, maybe they'll have different ones and stuff. Um, but to kind of show real quick, let me pull this off so you can see. There we go. Okay, so up here, the uh, the white bar is your health bar. Underneath of that, it's kind of like your energy bar. So it's like Hulk's rage for him. It's being able to use the consecutive blast. And for Kamala, it's... um. It's how long she can stay big and use those extra hits where her hands are, like, super, super big. Um, so that's kind of, like, what that is right there for a little overview of that. And let's just, let's keep going with this so I can try to get us into a, uh, a mission. Yep. And um the game jump over him. The game's pretty um responsive as well. It does feel like maybe a little bit loose at times, but I could probably go in and mess with like a little bit of the uh sensitivity settings with that. But overall it's not not too terrible. Hold. There we go. That will do, I think. Well done. Finish him. feel quite as good as Anthem? Um, I would have to say that from the bit of flying around I've done in the actual game, pause this real quick, Anthem's flight feels a lot better. Like, 
I think that's one thing that Anthem did really solid was their flight controls and how good it felt to fly around in the javelins. Um, yeah, like this isn't like like this isn't super terrible, but there's some things that like once you have to start trying to do a lot of things, um, it gets a little bit harder. For some reason, that thing likes to aim at the ground all the time. There we go. So I'd have to say that's been the best ultimate so far. How was that shooting though? It didn't seem like that was great. Nope. Speaking of which... We completed again. our challenge. If you wish, but I believe I've located Mr. Stark. Oh, uh, on my way. Yeah, Mr. Listen. Stark's last known location is his ancestral home, Golden Acres. You may be able to find a clue to his current whereabouts there. Ever heard of it? He really does not want to be found. Indeed not. The estate was located in a remote area of Nevada. I can provide you with the precise coordinates. All right. Okay. 
Okay, so now we'll be able to see that there. Alright. So find Tony and ask for help. Iconic mission. Hulk training. More training. Let's just break it down between... Oh, well, let me click over. So I guess this is all I have to choose from. So, um, what should we check out? Do we want to do the next mission, or do you want to check out the Iconic Chain mission? What is that? Is that's not actually part of the main story? No, I think this is like side story that just, um, so this preserve Jarvis has defective gamma radiation. We'll hope his task was innovative and just stop right over it. Yeah, it's like a side mission featuring, but it's like featuring a certain character. Story? story? Yeah. Alright. So I'm gonna see like what that's like. Alright. Oh, so is this just tracking? Dr. Banner, I have completed the scans you requested and have discovered residual traces of gamma radiation in a remote area of the Pacific Northwest. It is likely that Ms. Rappuccini is experimenting with your research there. I have marked the location on the war table. Yeah, no, that's not what I want to do. Okay, so we have four. So two. So where was that other one I was hoping for? Okay, so that's where his is. Um, I think these ones with the A were supposed to be the main missions. So let's see. Yes, okay, so here it is. So the A's mark your main story missions. Um, when you first highlight over it, it we're on normal, normal difficulty. Uh, the mission power is 6 plus 1, so it's an overall of 7. Um, this one is single player. So it looks like the main, most of the main story missions are going to be single player, and then the side ones are going to be the ones that are multiplayer. You can't just play the whole thing co-op. Yeah. Yeah, I thought it was going to do it like the the first mission it had me to. Or like, okay, so this one's like, it has two characters there. So then you could at least do two player and then as it opens up more. Check out the fancy drawbridge. Uh, typical, subtle tone. After you. I can't believe we're about to knock on Tony Stark's door. <sighs> Me neither. Let's see if there's anything to... Oh yeah, there's some stuff up there. This... Uh... Yeah. <laughs> so there's like one of those chests I was talking about. That'll be there. And um... Come on, we should get going. Looks like the controls are on the other side. You think you can find a way over there? Sure thing. I mean, I could break through those rocks, but the green guy isn't the best at talking things out. Good point. Oh. You see why you like this? Uh, no, he uh, likes smashing things. <gasps> not. Why not? It's kind of fun. Best 
part of being the Hulk. You gotta like something. Uh, we should really focus on the drawbridge. What are you gonna do? Stand around in silence the whole time? Yeah, great idea. Eh, suit yourself. Mm -hmm. Just a plant. I was wondering what that was. Yeah. I saw that too. <laughs> uh -oh. oh shit. Uh. Are you okay? Uh, I'm fine. I can see golden acres. Uh, kinda. Great. Jump over and lower the bridge? Sure thing. You can make that jump. Just a little farther this time. <laughs> <laughs> Made it. Still the bridge, come on. So impatient. Okay. Guess it needs power. Ah, just kidding. One of those things I hate about AI companions yeah. is when they're What's going on? I'm waiting. I hereby grant you passage to Sir Stark's fancy castle. Okay, calm down. Nice job. Sounds like he's up at least. Isn't that one of his top five songs to kick a uh, butt to? Yep. Good old number. Whoa! I wonder if Mr. Stark would let me drive one of these. That's not what I wanted. Why do you keep punching it? There we go. It's a problem day. When I wake up, I just keep punching my door. <laughs> Fuck you, door. I just want to open you. I'm just gonna hit you until you open. This can't be it. Let's get this Yo, check out my scarf! Wow, it's crazy! So Tony <laughs> Stark, the Tony Stark lives here. Now it's not. Here soon. Tony. Hey, Bruce. Long night. Ooh, long five years. Um, this is quiet. Yeah. It was. I... Oh. Hey, back off! Hi, I'm sorry. Who are you? Uh, Kamala? Well, uh, Kamala. Your emeraldite friend here is... Nathan Drake. Shit <laughs> okay. Yes, sir. Yeah, you're damn right you deserve it. Do the Avengers pose a danger to society? That was the question, Bruce. That was the question. Did you even check the science? Did you check it was a science? heist, Bruce. No. We were outsmarted. No. The Terrigen reactor was unstable, oh, and you knew that, you knew that, and you still paraded it before the entire world. So what? We just give up? We didn't give up, Tony. We failed. At least I can admit that. No. We failed him. We failed him. Tony, I don't know how long you're going to be mad at me, and to be honest with you, I don't really care. Take as long as you want. But, but the kid is inhuman. We did this. And she needs your help. I, I can't. I can't. You can't what? You're ditching me? Hey, don't take it personally, kid. No, oh, this is what he does, isn't it? And why don't you take a good look around, huh? I can barely help myself.
This was a mistake. Now we agree on something. So you're both just gonna walk away? The Avengers were set up. Cap was murdered. You think I don't know that? Huh? I've replayed that day in my head a thousand times. The Avengers take the ball despite saving the day, and that bastard Talton walks away smelling like a rose. And guess what? Guess what? No one cares. No one cares. The world needed someone to blame, and he gave them their scapegoat. So, unless you have some kind of astounding proof, I suggest you both get off my land. What is that? <laughs> proof. Okay, that was weird. Good. Saw that little kind glitch in a hiccup. Could have told me about that earlier. No, no, no. No sitting on my couch. You're still on the list. <laughs> Where did you get this? Guess your password on some resistance blog. Impressive. Dude, your password was I am Iron Man. Really? Hmm. How'd I change that? I know, it's incomplete. There's a whole folder on AIM's server. No, no, there's there's more here. What? Yeah, look, smart. They encrypted it to look like a quick file. In a few hours, I'll get all the rest. What is this? Who is who is Tiny Dancer? Oh no. We gotta get out of here. What? You know this shameless Elton John fan? <laughs> they helped me get out of Jersey. I wouldn't be here if they hadn't warned me about AIM. Really? Tiny dancer. Look, we really should go. Now. I would have gone with Rocket Man. Okay. I gotta get dressed. You have a suit? Yeah. Maybe, sort of. We'll see. Excuse me while I slip into something less comfortable. All right, and then this is kind of like how it does it with the story missions, you know, depending on like who you're using or who they're telling or what part. It can also go back and forth. It'll swap you right into the other character. Kind of bob back and forth. Crouched over. Mm -hmm. I left my boots. I can't do anything to get in there. So we went underground to climb back up into the house. Oh, of course, Bruce tries to saddle me with a stray fangirl. After all these years, he still can't own up to his own responsibilities. Tiny Dancer was telling the truth. They found you, Bruce. That yeah, don't judge me, Grandpa. I'm doing my best. Oh, great Nana's flying machine. Still a thing of beauty. Can't say the same about her.
Let's get airborne. More party crashers. That blaster, huh? Oh, there yeah. you go. No, no. It's not gonna let me interact with it right now. Alright, that's cool. Need a helmet. Okay, it's got to be around here somewhere. Ah! Nope, not that. Come on. There we go. Good thing I don't have neighbors. I'd be so pissed off right now. I'm joking, kid. Just stay near the nice green. Okay, so it looks like you gotta target the spots on it that aren't. The girl needs our help. Well, you know, she seems fine to me. Inhumans are sick. They need a treatment. Ah, do people actually buy that crap? <laughs> How's Charlton controlling these machines? I don't know. He got powers after the accident. I saw him controlling a robotic spider thing once. Well, he's leveled up from spiders. One thing that I wish you could do, though, is um, switch between the characters that are with nice you. Moves, kiddo. Yeah. Come on. Cool. Especially considering you can't do this co-op. Yeah. That was gonna be the name of my new band. <laughs>
No, I got this. <laughs> Can I block that stuff? Watch. Wait, you're not ready for. Yeah! Or maybe you are. Frankly, I'm surprised to see you and Banner together again. Well, Percy and I are seeing something about our issue. She's great. Short, stretchy, really good at guessing passwords. You gotta get something off my chest. Still putting the weak in danger. You never learn. Weak? Is that why you sent an army to take her down? Why? It's kind of a compliment, actually. I like you more at every second, kid. Let's grab some health. Guy's mad I beat his ass earlier. He does. When I was young, I found an orphaned wolf cub in the forest behind our farm. What? Dad said it was too dangerous. He told me to get rid of it. I fed that cub. I named him. I watched him play with my beloved dog, Darwin. You're wasting my time. I felt if I could instill rules, the proper boundaries, I could harness the raw power of that beast. Have you done rambling? Almost. Oh. A few months later, while hunting, the adolescent cub turned on me, snarling, frothing at the mouth. Darwin bought me a few precious moments to call for help. My dad shot the wolf. But it was too late. Darwin had been torn to pieces. We need him. <laughs> I I'm sorry. I don't know what came over me. Leave. Please. Dead man. Abomination's having a horrible time. He got he got his ass beat by the hall, and then he got his ass beat by a midget in a floating wheelchair. Jarvis! You haven't aged a day. Welcome back, Mr. Stark. Missed you, buddy. You flying free? In full working order. Give me the worst of it. The Chimera is running on secondary power. Major hull damage is also detected. Engines are offline. Climate. So it's bad. 
That is an accurate assessment. Okay, we gotta get this bird airborne. <laughs> Excuse me. AIM knows it's here. So it needs to not be here when they get here. What? All right. While we work on cleanup, you mind taking a look at something for me? Certainly, sir. See what you can do about decrypting this file. At once. Gotta see why the turbines won't activate. Better check out the initiator cores in the hangar. Alright, and we have now unlocked our next character, which will be Tony Stark. So we'll be able to do some stuff as Iron Man going forward. Uh, nice. Yeah. Um, is there anything else you'd like to see, Ryan, or something that I might have missed? You can't get to the multiplayer right now, right? Uh, let's let's see if I can. Nope, because it looks like it put into another. It's gonna do like this little mini side thing with Tony now. I mean, that's pretty much what we'll, all we can show, right? I'm a little interested to see what the tail on the game is, you know? Yeah. Um, but we can't look at that right now, I guess. Yeah. Um, what I'll have to do is once I get further in and get, like, more of that free reign over it, definitely come in for a... Actually, you know what? Let me try something real quick. I just thought of something. Well, let's do this. Let's see if it lets us go right into the Avengers Initiative uh, spot. If not, we'll definitely have to do a follow-up once I get a little further. Um, I can just, like, freely access the ore table. Seems to be a pretty linear kind of story progression there. Yeah. Look at these guys. Ah. Yeah, so... so Yeah, so it looks like if you try to load in right into there, it's gonna, like, open up everything for you to see. So I think what we'll do is I'll keep working on some stuff and then maybe we'll come back this weekend um, and maybe I can get the rest of my group that's playing to come in and then we can take a look at the uh, the multiplayer part of it but it's gonna be it's gonna be pretty similar to the mission that we just seen because that's how the one that I did where I could have had multiplayer it's just then somebody would have been playing as Hulk would it have had all that story stuff? Um, not as much. Okay. It would have been like a similar uh, layout, like the waves of enemies we were fighting, but it was like, um, I went to recover a piece that Jarvis needed for something. So it was like, you could go through the area, it had a couple little small things that you could do, and I think that's going to tie into, like, the bigger stuff where they have, like, the war campaigns and stuff that are going on, which where you'll have more of, like, the other people and all and be able to go into those events. But it hasn't, um, it hasn't touched too, too much on that yet. Just see what, uh, what that multiplier looks like, so... Maybe we can check it out later. Yeah, or if I come up to a spot where I know, like, hey, okay, this next mission I can do multiplayer, then I'll just kind of, I can stop right there, and then we can, like, pop in and be like, hey, you know, I've got this spot ready to go. Um, It'd be good to have your crew, you know, see what, a, like, a co-op mission looks like. Yeah, yeah, because after I get this, after I get done here, I'm fixing the help one person just started and then my brother is actually getting ready once but he's still not home for another like 40 minutes or so um he's actually getting ready to do that co-op mission so once you progress a little bit and can get a four person squad is it four yeah i think four is going to be the max 
Yeah, and then do a couple missions, see how that goes. Yep. That sounds cool. Yeah, so I will keep in touch with everybody. Ryan, thank you for joining tonight. Um, these have been pretty fun, minus some slight hiccups with getting setups running right, but... Technical things to sort out. <laughs> yeah, but it's something new. It doesn't seem like many other people are doing this, so hopefully it sticks and hopefully uh, people like this stuff. Just uh, talked about that. You can't do the whole game co-op. Yeah, you have to get to a certain point or complete the campaign, right? Yeah, that's from what it looks like so far is that the main campaign is going to be mainly single player, but then as it gives you options to do the side stuff, that's when you'll be able to bring in friends and have them help with that. And then I think they even have, I think the four player things are like a little bit larger scale type things. But we'll have to dive in a little bit further to get a more a more solid grasp on what exactly that's going to un entail. Because I know eventually at 1.2 you do unlock like daily missions, which you pick up like you're picking up bounties in uh, Destiny. Yeah. It's got like almost the same little like tab thing, and you just you can grab a bunch of them and then go do them. Cool. So, pretty typical uh, game as a service game. Yeah, yeah, definitely game as a service. Um, not that bad so far. Can it can use a little bit of love, but I'm sure they'll they'll refine that over time because you know some of these games have started out real rocky and then grown into something really good. So it'll be interesting to see um, what they do this and then how it also grows once they add in, like, more characters and how they do, like, their stories and whatnot. Um, alright, that sounds cool. Um, I guess I'll talk, oh, uh, I guess I could shout out, we'll be doing similar thing for Tony Hawk on Friday. Yep. I just said and we're also one. looking to get some sort of uh, multiplayer stream going for this weekend to promote the GoFundMe for Juan, who's uh, having some high medical expenses that we want to help out with. Uh, if you do donate $30 or more to his GoFundMe, and uh, you add a comment on your donation that's uh, hashtag voxel. We will get your information. We'll send you out a sh t shirt. Yeah, so definitely check that out. You know, don't strap yourself if that would strap yourself. We never want anybody to do that. But if you're able to help, that's always awesome. I do, if you're watching on Facebook right now, have the link in the description of this. And when I do, if you're watching from um, YouTube, I'll have that link in the description there as well, tagged. So again, thank you everybody that's watched and been here with us, asking questions and looking at the different things we're doing. And Ryan, thank you for being here with me as we kind of try this new setup and see how it works. It's going to definitely be interesting to do it Friday where we're going to do the reverse, right? You're looking to head that one? Yeah, I'll be playing and you'll be watching. Yeah, so it'll definitely, <laughs> it'll definitely be interesting there because I was definitely listening to the Spotify playlist of the game today. Can't wait. Yeah, it's gonna be great. But all right, everybody, thanks for thanks for watching, and we will catch you next time.